Now at 6, Interstate 27 to run through West Texas is getting national attention tonight. Senator Ted Cruz made a stop to talk about how the interstate will affect locals in Midland and Odessa. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Madeline Bierster. And I'm Mike Mahoney. And you know what, Maddie? I was at that press conference with the Texas senator today. And here's what he and our local leaders had to say. Local leaders came together today at Midland's Bush Convention Center to discuss the passage of the I-27 Numbering Act, which officially designates the Ports to Plain Corridor as the future Interstate 27. They focused a lot of their attention on the assistance they got from Senator Ted Cruz in Washington, D.C., but they also took time to highlight the local cooperation that got things started. These things are possible for the reason is because there's a vast cooperation. You can see it across the board, big screen, San Angelo, Midland, Odessa. And Midland Mayor Lori Blong took time to highlight what the interstate will mean for folks who call the basin home. But the other thing that we have to think about it are the families that live in our area who need to be able to move safely and quickly through our region. I have three kids that are playing sports all over our region, and I actually drove back from Lubbock last night at 11 o'clock, and I got to see firsthand the corridor that this opportunity and this legislation supports. We have got to see that we continue to be built out for the safety and continued development of our region, um, but also for our community. And Senator Cruz made it clear as soon as he learned about the plans for the Ports to Plain Corridor from West Texas leaders, he was on board. I think back, it was probably five, six years ago, James, that the Ports to Plains committee came and met with me in the Capitol. Met in my basement office. So every senator has what's called a hideaway office, typically down in the basement of the Capitol. And they came to the basement and they laid out the Ports to Plains vision. And at the time, they expressed frustration. They said, we've been fighting for this a long time and we seem not to be getting where we need to get. And they said, we're coming to you with an ask. Will, will you take the lead pushing this forward and getting it done. As I listened to the plan, I said, absolutely, that makes an enormous amount of sense. I'm glad to go to work and do what I can. 